Hey everybody, I'm Michael and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a little bit of a deeper dive into the drip calculator because a lot of people have been asking questions about it and I will admit that it was very confusing for me when I first got started with drip. If you want to follow along with this video, I've put a link down below in the YouTube description where you can make a copy of this calculator for yourself. Once you make a copy of the calculator, you will have full access to editing all of these different fields and you should also have access to these tabs at the very bottom, calculator, wallets, and hydration template. Let's go ahead and jump into this tab over here on the right called the hydration template. On this page, you have 11 different scenarios that have been programmed by someone named Kelly Snook. She is the one that created this calculator and it is a very, very helpful tool if you understand how to use it. Under each one of these different columns, you can see one through all the way up to 11 there are these different scenarios. Now these scenarios can be copied and pasted into this wallets tab right down here. When you copy and paste the different scenarios, the calculator will also make its updates and show you the data that changes in real time. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go down to the wallets tab. You can see that right now I have under this E column, hydrate question mark, this is the schedule that the calculator will use to tell me how much money I can make if I were to follow this hydration schedule. As you can see right now, it says one all the way down. If we keep scrolling, you'll notice as I scroll down over here on this area, this scroll bar, it's quite a long page. But as you continue to scroll down, at some point right here, when we reach this day, so this would be day number 1094, if we were to start today on April 22nd, you can see that this is April 16th, 2025. So about three years from now, you will get done with this hydrating. One means hydrate, zero means claim, and two or higher equals do nothing. So when this schedule says hydrate, 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 every single day, hydrate, 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 when you get down to April 16th, 2025, the next day on the 17th says to claim. So with this particular hydration template, you can see that you can take your initial balance. So let's say you were to start with one drip token deposited today, and every single day you logged into your drip account and you hydrated all the way until you got here, you could see that the number of deposits, which if I log into my drip account, you can see this number of deposits right here, if you were to hydrate every single day for three years, should reach the maximum after three years. So the maximum drip tokens that should be deposited in your deposits It'll hit its max when it reaches around 27,397 or so drip tokens. And as you can see right here, we, we almost hit the max on this number right here, but then we did one more day and we went over the max. Going over the max is fine, but just know that once you reach that max of 27,397 drip tokens, you will stop earning the 1% in daily rewards. So let's head back to the hydration template and I will cover what all of these different scenarios mean. Okay, I'm just gonna scroll down. You will not be able to see the numbers, but I'll just tell you what these different hydration templates are actually doing. So this overview will just cover what everything is doing, but it's not gonna go into detail on what specifically is happening. That will happen a little bit later in the video. So if we were to take this very first scenario, this one is telling us to hydrate the first 24 hours after we've made our initial drip deposits, and then the next 24 hours it says to claim, and then it says to hydrate the next day, claim the next day, so you are alternating between hydrating and claim every other day. This next plan is hydrate until 27,397 drip tokens show up in your deposits, and then after that, claim every single day. This method right here will allow you to save a little bit in gas fees, even though the gas fees I've noticed have been only around 50 cents every single time, maybe some of you want to save that money. So with this plan, it says to hydrate the first 24 hours after your initial deposit, 
but then on this day and this day, do absolutely nothing. But then on the fourth day, to hydrate. But then on the fifth and the sixth day, do nothing. And it tells you to do this until you get around 100 drip tokens in your deposits. After that, you will hydrate every single day until you reach this maximum number or around the 27,397 drip tokens. And then every day after that, you will just claim. You'll get all that 1% and you'll put that right back into your wallet. This method right here is almost optimal. It says to hydrate in the beginning every other day until your deposits reaches 100 drip tokens. And then once it does, alternate between hydrate and claim all the way until you get to that maximum deposit number. And I keep saying the maximum deposit number, that number is 27,397 drip tokens. The reason why that is the maximum number that you should add to your deposits is that any drip that you add or you hydrate or you deposit more drip tokens, any drip that you add after you've reached that 27,397 drip tokens will not help you claim any more money. You won't get the 1% anymore. Every single wallet will end once they reach 27,397 drip tokens. So this one says to hydrate, then do nothing, hydrate, then do nothing, hydrate, do nothing, all the way until you get the 100 drip tokens in your deposits. And then from the 100 drip tokens in your deposits, all the way up to the maximum deposits that you should be making, you should alternate between hydrate and claim. And then once you reach the maximum deposit amount, then you're just going to claim every single day. This one is if you really want to save on those BNB gas fees with every single hydrate or claim transaction. It says to hydrate on the very first day, but then every day after that for six days, you're going to do nothing. And then on the seventh day, you're going to hydrate and you're going to continue this on all the way until you get to 100 drip tokens. And then from this like 100 or 101 drip tokens amount in your deposits, you should then alternate between claim, hydrate, claim, hydrate every other day until you reach that maximum deposit number and then you should claim every single day until you get all your money out. This sixth scenario says you should hydrate on the first day and then claim, claim, claim. So day one is hydrate, day two is claim, day three is claim, day four is claim, day five is hydrate, and so on. And you'll alternate this. As you can see, it goes all the way down. This method is for people who want to get their money out as fast as possible. But just know that getting your money out fast means that your deposit amount, so every time you deposit money or you hydrate, your deposit amount is going up. This method is going to make your deposits grow very, very slowly because you're taking that 1% that you earn from your deposits and in three days in a row, you are taking that 1% and claiming it. You're not actually putting it back in your deposits. And that will make your deposits grow really, really slow. This one says to alternate weeks. So every single day for a week you hydrate, every single day after that for the next week you claim. The next week every day you hydrate, the next week every day you claim. This scenario says you should hydrate every single day for a year and then claim every day for a year. So what that's saying is, as we scroll all the way down, it's just hydrate every single day. But then when we reach this 365 days right here or around here, we should then claim every single day for a year. And that is what some people want to do. But in my opinion, it's better to hydrate more often than it is to claim. Because once you start claiming, your hydrate amount or your deposit amount does not grow as quickly and then you might get some good money up front, but then you won't be able to get as much money down the line. This plan right here, let me scroll over for you. It says to hydrate for five days in a row and then claim for two days. Repeat until you reach that, that maximum deposit number. So right here it says hydrate every single day for five days and then on the weekends you're claiming. Then hydrate throughout the week and then claim on the weekends. And it goes down all the way until you get all the way to the end of this plan. This plan right here says that it's the almost optimal plan. And as you can see right here, if we start with day one, we're gonna hydrate. On day two, we're gonna do nothing. Day three, we will claim. 
Day four will do nothing. Day five, we will hydrate, and it'll go on like that until we reach 100 drip tokens in our deposits. Once we reach that 100 drip tokens in our deposits, then you are going to start with the alternating of hydrate claim, hydrate claim, hydrate claim, all the way until you reach that maximum deposit number of 27,397 drip tokens. Once you reach that, then you will claim every single day until your balance runs out. And this last schedule says to hydrate every third day, do nothing on the other days until you reach the 27,397 drip tokens deposit amount. I keep saying that amount because that is a very crucial thing that you need to understand. This 27,397 drip tokens that appears in your deposits, that is the most that any wallet should have in their deposits. Because once that number is hit, the wallet closes you cannot add, you should not add any more to this. All you can do is claim whatever you have left to claim. But you don't want to keep adding to that number because if you keep adding to it, you're not going to be able to earn that 1% continually. You'll have to take whatever you have left and start a new wallet. So just make sure that once you start getting into the 20,000 or 25,000 drip tokens in your deposits, that you are aware that once you reach that maximum number, which is equally to 3.65 times less than your maximum payout number, which is 100,000 drip tokens. Once you've hit those numbers, don't add anything else to your deposits. Do not add anything else to your deposits because you're, you're not gonna be able to earn 1% on anything greater than the 27,397 drip tokens. Okay, so those are the different scenarios and here is how you actually use this hydration template in this wallets tab right down here. All you need to do is select the very first cell where it starts. You can see the row number eight is where the very first part of this hydration template starts. And then you're gonna take this scroll bar over here on the right. You're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. And when you get to the bottom, you're going to press the shift key and then you're going to click the very last cell. So it selects all of the different schedules. Then you are going to press Command C or Control C on your keyboard to copy that schedule. You can see the got, got the little dotted line here saying it's copied. Then you're gonna head back to the Wallets tab. And at the very first day, you can see on the row number four, you're going to paste in what you just copied right here in this cell. It's E4. So let's paste it in by pressing Command V or Control V. And you can see that the template will automatically change colors. Give it a few seconds. There we go. And then now, now that you've picked which hydration template you want to use, let me scroll back to the top of the hydration templates page, and you have pasted in the hydration template into this column here, Let's go back to the calculator tab and enter some numbers. So let's say we were to start today. Let's say we have a wallet. Let's say we are using MetaMask. You don't have to use MetaMask. You can come to a website called WalletConnect.com. Here's the URL, WalletConnect.com. Make sure you're going directly there. And then you're going to come up here and click on Registry. Once the page loads, let's click on Wallets. And from here, you can see all of the different available wallets that you can choose from. You don't have to use MetaMask. You could use Rainbow or Trust Wallet. You can use the Binance Chain Wallet. You can use any of the wallets listed here because these are all of the wallets that are associated when you come to connect your wallet on the Drip website. So let's go back to the calculator. And so we are gonna be starting with one wallet. What this means is, for me with MetaMask, you can see in my account here, let me zoom in here, you can see this little profile icon. When you click on that, you can see all of the different accounts that I have in my MetaMask wallet. This wallet also contains sub wallets or child wallets. So this is just a regular wallet here. This is another wallet right here. And this is another wallet right here. If you are using MetaMask, you can actually create as many wallets as you want. All you do is click Create Account, and then once you do, you'll fill in the name here and click Create. And that is how you can manipulate the data on the calculator 
spreadsheet. I'll show you that in just a minute. But let's say for this example that you are only going to start with one wallet. Let's go ahead and close this and zoom out. So over here, we are gonna be starting with one wallet in this field. That means you only have one account, one wallet address, that is it. But let's say that instead of starting with one drip token, let's say instead of buying one drip token today, you're going to buy 10 drip tokens. One thing I want you to notice over here on the right is all of these numbers. You can see right now that if we started with one drip token, let me put that back, one drip token, that by the end of six years, we should be able, following the hydration template that we chose, which is this very first one over here, if we followed that schedule, we should be able to get, after six years, this amount of money, assuming the price of the drip token stays at $32, which is what it is today, April 22nd. But here's where the really cool stuff comes into play. Let's say we keep this hydration template as this first column, and we've pasted it in here, so it's alternating hydrating claim every other day. Well, going back to the calculator tab, we have that one wallet, but let's say we start with a, de a deposit of 10 drip tokens. Watch how the numbers change the second I press enter or click off of this cell. Watch this. What the calculator is doing, it's taking the amount of drip tokens that you have to start, and if you come back to the wallets tab, you can see that you're now starting with 10 drip tokens right here. This says it's starting with 10. So all of the numbers get adjusted based on what is entered into this calculator tab. You could do a starting balance of 100 drip tokens in your deposits, and you can see all of these numbers change. And when you come back to your wallets tab, you can see that we are now starting with 100. But one other thing I want you to see is that when I adjust the amount of starting drip here, it also changes the amount in all of these different fields. So if we were to put this back to 10 drip tokens, you can see these numbers right over here will fluctuate, but that this number right here stays about the same. So if we were to take, let's say, let me just show you one more time. Let's start with one drip token. So you'd have one drip token in your wallet. The amount that you could get after about six years is around eight, 750 grand. Let's say you were to start with 10 drip tokens. Let's watch these numbers change. You could come out with $1.2 million. Let's say you started with 100 drip tokens. Okay, well, actually we're seeing about what we got when we deposited 10 drip tokens. Let's try 1,000 drip tokens. Interesting, so we are actually seeing around the same amount when you start depositing 10 drip tokens or more. Now the thing that a lot of people get confused with drip is that every single wallet will reach a maximum payout. This means that if we go back to the drip website, that this field right here, max payout, the highest this number can go is 100,000 drip tokens. This number right here shows 3.65 times the amount of drip that shows here. So when we know there is a max payout of 100,000 drip tokens here, this number right here will be 3.65 times less than what's here. So what I mean by that is this. You start a wallet today and you start with 10 drip tokens. You deposit the 10 drip tokens, but you are charged a 10% tax. So in reality, you are only starting with nine drip tokens in your deposits. That extra 10% tax gets added to the tax vault and it helps pay all of the rewards for everybody else. But don't worry, every time I deposit money into DRIP, I am having to pay this tax as well. And all of the big whales, the people with millions of dollars in their deposits, they are also having to deposit and get taxed that 10% tax. So don't worry, you're not alone. Everybody gets taxed. That's how the system keeps operating the way it should. But with this max payout here of 100,000 drip, it really doesn't matter how many deposits or how many drip you deposit here initially because every single wallet will only be able to reach up to 100,000 as a max payout. So that is why when we go back to our calculator that this number right here doesn't really change when we start adding more than 10 drip tokens from the start. 
That's because this is the max payout. You cannot get any higher than that. So if we were to start with, let's say, five drip tokens, let's see what the amount can get up to. All right, it gets up to about 1.2 million. Let's see if we were to put in three drip tokens. Same amount, $1.2 million. Let's say we were to start with 5,000 drip tokens. You can see it comes out to about the same. The only difference between how much you deposit over here is that if you put in 10 drip tokens today, you're starting from almost zero. You're starting from the lowest, like, I mean, the lowest would be one, but you're starting from a pretty low point. And so the only thing, the only difference between all of these different deposit amounts is the amount of time that you're going to have to hydrate or claim in order to reach this maximum payout. So if you want to start and get to this maximum payout faster, you have to deposit more than just 10 drip tokens. So let's say you want to get there faster. Let's try a thousand drip tokens. You can see that we still have this maximum payout here. Our earnings after our very first three months is this. Our average daily draw, so the amount that you can take out of your account every single day, will be around $1,600 after the first year. After the second year, it'll be around $5,400 a day. And you can come down here and look at these different numbers based on the amount of drip that you initially deposited. So as long as you understand that, that if you don't have a lot of money to invest now and you're only going to deposit 10 drip tokens, that you can still get to that maximum payout of around $1.2 million, assuming the price of drip stays at $32, you'll get there just like any other wallet that deposits more, but it will take you time to get there. As you can see, you will have to go through year five to get to that amount versus if you were to put in 100 drip tokens and then have these numbers recalculate. You can see that you can get there in about three years. If you deposited 1,000 drip tokens, as you saw, you could get there in about two years time. If you were to put in, let's say, 5,000 drip tokens, let's see how quickly you could get to that amount. Looks like around two years time, maybe a little bit quicker, maybe the, the actually, no, sorry, at one year's time. So what you need to remember here is, it doesn't matter how much you deposit, just know that the more you deposit, the faster you will get to that max payout of 100,000 drip tokens, which comes out to around $1.2 million as of today, April 22nd. If you deposit less than that and you're starting with one drip token, so it would be around 1.008, you can see that you can still get up there. It's a little bit less than the $1.2 million, but it will just take you longer. It'll take you six years to get there versus someone who deposits more and gets there faster. But you are going to receive the same amount as someone who deposits more than you. So that's how the calculator works. This price right here is going to be necessary for you. This is the starting price of drip on your very first day. So let's say you find this video in June of 2022. And let's say the price is around $50 per drip token. You'll see these numbers recalculate. And let's go ahead and say you're going to deposit 25 drip tokens. Let's let these numbers recalculate. Okay, so you saw the price go up, and that's because the price of the drip token also went up. If we go back down to what it is today, $32, you'll see that this number goes back down. So this number right here is very dependent on whatever is listed here. If you wanted to see what you could earn. Let's say the price of drip goes to $150 and you deposited 25 drip tokens today. You could potentially get almost $6 million if it stayed at $150 per drip token. But here is where the magic happens. Right now, we've only been talking about this one hydration template. There are 10 other templates for you to mess around with. You do the exact same thing. You select this very first cell. For me, I'm gonna just select this one right here. And then you'd scroll all the way down to the bottom. So right now we're on column three. Hold the shift key and select all of these different cells. Then we're gonna copy these cells. We're gonna head back to our wallets tab. And on the very first day, let's scroll up to the top, right here on E4, we're going to paste in that hydration template. Let's see what happens with our results in the calculator tab. 
you can see that on the very first day it says to hydrate, but then on the second and third day it says do nothing. But then on the fourth day it says hydrate. And it goes down like that for a while. But then when you get down to, and let's scroll down to here, it says on September 19th to just continue to hydrate every day. It's no more of this alternating stuff. You're hydrating, hydrating, hydrating every single day. Until, and we're going to keep scrolling down, see where it actually changes here. You can see we're getting into the big the big bucks here. It says on May 12, 2024, this is when you want to start claiming with this particular schedule. Maybe you don't want to wait two years to start claiming. Maybe you want to claim now. Maybe you want to start getting your initial deposit back now. And one thing that I need to tell you is that when you come to the website and you deposit however many drip tokens you're going to deposit, let's say it's 25, you're going to get charged that 10% tax. So 2.5 drip tokens are going to be removed. Okay, so you are left with whatever that is, 22.5. And then this amount here gets added to your deposits when you click deposit. But know that you cannot take out what you deposit. Once you deposit, it's in there, it's locked, and that is how the Drip website works. So if you're not willing to deposit money, that's not a problem. You don't have to invest in Drip, but just know that essentially this amount is burned, and with this being a faucet, it's a smart contract. So what, just know that whatever you put in here, you can't get it right back out immediately, but know that the Drip website will pay you 1% of whatever you have here in your available balance every 24 hours. So with this amount here, let me zoom back out. Let me open up my calculator. With this amount here that would show up in your deposits, if you were to deposit 25 drip tokens, you would be able to get every 24 hours 0.22 drip tokens. And every 24 hours, you can either choose, hey, I'm gonna hydrate, I'm gonna take what's available, put it back in my deposits. You'll pay a 5% tax or you can take what's available and claim it and pay a 10% tax. It's your choice. And in this calculator, this is what that means. So hydrate, you'll pay the 5% tax. Claim, you'll pay the 10% tax. But with claim, you'll actually be able to get your money back out. So if you're worried about, you put in some money and you're like, oh, I want that money back faster than, like, I, I don't want to wait, I want it fast. You could choose maybe this hydration template schedule. Maybe you choose this one where it says claim on the second, third, and fourth days. Maybe that's for you. And you would just select the column here, go all the way down to the bottom, copy it, go back to your wallets tab, and then scroll up to the top and paste it into this field right here. And then you would be able to see after you pasted it in, there we go, all the numbers are getting updated. You could see that if you were to deposit this amount here, how much you would be able to earn after the end of six years. You can see that it's not beneficial to claim very often. It's more beneficial if you hydrate more often for two reasons. You're building your deposits up when you hydrate and you're only paying a 5% tax on what's available. So right off the bat, if you start claiming every other day or multiple times using the hydration template number four, you are actually only going to come out with $56,000 or so, assuming the price of drip stays at $32. So you can see, hopefully, the value of these different hydration templates. I won't be covering all of these, but you can test them out yourself. Now, I talked about one wallet. Here we only have one wallet in our accounts. But what if you had, like I do, five wallets? All you would do is say, you're going to have five wallets here. But the trick and the way to get the most amount of money, assuming the price of drip stays at a certain amount, let me go ahead and actually move that back to one and I'm gonna say 32 so we're accurate. Let's say that you wanted to deposit 100 drip tokens today, but instead of doing it in one wallet, you decided to do it in five different wallets. So those 100 drip tokens would be split up each into each wallet. Each wallet would have 20 drip tokens. Now, currently, we are still on this hydrate and then claim, claim, claim schedule, which, as you can see, is not going to give us a good return on our investment. I mean, it's good, but I, I want more than that. So let's come back to the hydration template and let's go ahead and choose this very first column. Let me select this very first cell here. 
I'm gonna scroll all the way down in the very first column, press shift and copy all of these cells. Then I'm gonna go back to the wallets tab. I'm gonna paste it in right here in E4. I'm gonna watch all of these numbers change. And then when we go back to our calculator tab, check out what we are working with. So if we had five drip wallets and we started with 100 drip tokens where each wallet had 20 drip tokens in it, we would be able to come out with this amount of money. Now, if you remember when I had the number of wallets be one and I ran these numbers using that scenario, you can see that starting with 100 only results in $1.2 million. But when we start adding extra wallets and we split up the amount of drip that we are starting with, we actually multiply the amount that we are going to get by five. Because as you remember, every single wallet can get up to the 100,000 drip token max payout. That's this number right here. So if you want to get multiple wallets started now and you put 20 tokens into each, you deposited 20, you should have around 0.2 drip tokens available every single day. And in doing that, in following this schedule here of alternating hydrate claim, hydrate claim all the way down, you'll be able to get your money back out faster, but you will also be building up your deposits so that the amount that you are able to claim gets larger and larger every single day. So in my opinion, it's smarter to create multiple wallets instead of just one wallet because of that max payout amount. For me, I have five drip wallets. And on my other computer, I have all of those wallets listed, but let's go ahead, I'll show you my MetaMask account. You can see that when I click on my profile icon, that I have these two drip accounts right here. On my other computer, it shows all of my accounts because I have my drip connected through MetaMask using my ledger device. A ledger device is a lifesaver. It just makes sure that all of your crypto is safe. And with every time that I hydrate or I claim, I am confirming that transaction on my physical ledger device that stays offline all the time. It's just a really great way to keep all of your crypto safe. If you want to check out Ledger, there is a link down below for you. But as you can see, I've got a one Drip 1 wallet and a Drip 5 wallet. My other three Drip wallets are on my other computer. But what you can do is this, you come down here, if you're on MetaMask, you can do the same thing. I have put tutorials for the Trust Wallet app and the Binance Chain Wallet, how to create multiple wallets within those. But all you do with MetaMask is click Create Account. It'll, you'll create an account here, click Create, and then that account will show up here. And when you click on that specific account, like let's say we have Drip5, this is a new wallet address. So you can actually connect to the Drip website using this other Drip wallet. And then you'll just log out of that account. Let me show you how to log out really quick so that you can actually connect to multiple wallets. All we're gonna do is come up to the Drip website. And instead of clicking this button, all this button does is disconnects it from the site, but it doesn't mean that you're actually disconnected. So let me go up here. I'm gonna click on MetaMask. And right now, if we go into my accounts, on this Drip 5, it says that I am not connected. But on my Drip 1 parent, where it says D, it says that it's connected. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and click this, okay? It looks like we've disconnected our account. But if we come up to MetaMask, you can see that MetaMask is actually still connected to the Drip website. So if I were to try to switch and say I wanna connect my Drip5 account or my Drip5 wallet to MetaMask and I clicked the connect wallet button again and then I clicked MetaMask. Um, well, it didn't actually connect me to the Drip5. You can see it's not connected. It's still connected to the Drip1. I know that's kind of confusing, but all you need to do is click where it says connected, click the three little dots and then click disconnect this account. Now we are not connected to this. I can click up on my profile icon select Drip5, I'm not connected yet, but then I can click Connect Wallet, and then I can come down here and choose my wallet and connect that way. It'll have me select which wallet, Drip5, and connect. Just that simple. That is my recommendation for how to do multiple wallets. It's super simple, it takes me just a couple of minutes every single morning to do my tasks, either hydrate or claim, but I am following, right now I am choosing to hydrate 
on my one account, my main drip one account, I am choosing to hydrate every single day because I want my deposits balance to go up faster. But on my other wallets, I am choosing to only hydrate once per month. That's because I want this amount to go up 30 times. I want the 1% that I receive to go up 30 times before I actually hydrate. And to show you what that balance would be, all I have to do is take the 1% from what's in my deposit, so 4.816, and multiply it by 1%, and then we take this number here, okay, and we multiply it by, let's say, 30 days. At the end of 30 days, I should have 1.44 drip tokens in my available balance. And then I'll take that 1.44 and I will deposit it back. I'll hydrate it back into my deposits, thus increasing the amount that I am earning every single 24 hours because this amount is going up. So that is really all there is to it for this calculator. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.